be Chambers. I'm Homer Simpson, the barbarian. Huge but a wimp. What? I don't have a barbarian license? Don't! I am the agent. I am the land. My beginning are lost in the darkness of the past. I am the warrior. I was good and just... I'm... <laughs> I'm frozen among the land, like the rat of just a guard. But the war years and the killing years wore down my soul as the wind told. <laughs> what the hell am I looking at? <laughs> what? Did Lisa write this? Lisa, damn you. But Marge, she never said she was 16. <laughs> There's a bit, bit dangerous this way though, isn't it? No. Wait, no. Even better. Big. Jungus! Isn't that that rabbit thing? The one that Wallace and Gromit film? Is that what it is? I don't know. Look, I guess some bigot on iFunny posted this. So some people are like, ugh, at least give credit. Like, honestly, who cares? If they didn't want it to be stolen, they would have put a watermark on it. This was their fault, and I made my move on this opportunity. This seems very personal. Did you have experience in life, Funny? Marge, the kids are dead. Bart, Lisa, even Maggie. They're dead. And it's all because of Sideshow Bob. Now, Marge, where's my beer? Hmm. You know what? That would be rather quirky, I think. Marge, this is a very wholesome 100 Keanu Reeves Big Chungus R Wholesome R Conquers Reddit moment. I feel like I lost brain cells just reading that. Good news, Marge! I successfully instated communism at the plant. <laughs> Subscribe to Marge S, or you aim wholesome Parker's Pump Champ Connor Reeves 100. Security system takes control of Squidward's house and begins attacking the city, leaving the mayor to give Squidward community service for the damage he caused, even though SpongeBob and Patrick were in the house all the fucking time and responsible for everything. I feel like this guy hadn't got pussy in a while. Don't merge the boy, the boy, he's a relevant topical joke. do the boy, he tells me I'm a conquer on the internet. I'm not a conquer, I'm a blob, a blob, ah! You guys might have a sneak peek of season 32 right there. Merge, my face hurts again. Merge, this only got popular because only played did it. I, Homer Simpson, have a dream. I have a dream about land of chocolate, but that's about it. There's no way a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyway because bees don't care what humans think is impossible. Yellow, black, yellow, black, 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 blah, 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 what? Marge, come to bed. We're gonna have some fun. Marge, bro, in real life. Just, just a bro? No bros in there? Bro before bros? Is that how that sentence go? Merch, I'm stuck in the wall and I can't get out. Merch, I'm stuck. Merch, not for the kids, Merch. I do not know what that guy just is thinking. <laughs> I kid you not, Barney. He turned himself into a pickle and put Greaves to call himself Pickle Rick. <laughs> Funniest shit I ever seen. When you win is the of yes, how oh my no, the don't. Oh, Margie, you came and found me turkey on my vacation away from worky. Nothing bad ever happens in The Simpsons. I mean, uh, Marge, you used to be beautiful. Now your hair is sticking up like a pole. Homer's best bits are the best Twitter account and everyone should follow it. But also follow OCC Couch Gags because he's the best account on Twitter. I don't like to brag or anything, but uh, this guy may have a point. Oh boy, we got a long one. I, Homer Simpson, and I am here to ask you a question. Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? No, says the man in Washington. It belongs to the poor. No, says the man in Franklin. It belongs to God. No, says the man in Moscow. It belongs to everybody. I reject those answers. Instead, I choose something different. I choose the impossible. I choose rapture. A city where the artist would not fear of the censor, where the scientists would not be bound by penalty morally. 
where the great would not be constelled by the small, and with the sweat of your brow, rapture can become your city as well. Henry Hansen made me hella handsome when I lend a hand in hand, son. Because honestly, an integrity is their corporate policy. When I track the mountains or travel the seven seas, Henry Hansen makes it a breeze. Okay, so this person just sent me just a link to the dead Bart creepypasta wiki. Uh, I'm not gonna read all of this because... Uh, it's bad enough as I am, like, it's bad enough for the show, but then, creepypastas? Okay, so I'm going to at least read one part of it, just the best parts just made me laugh. <laughs> okay, so it's just at this point. At the beginning of the series, Matt had an idea that the animated style of The Simpsons world represented life, and that that would turn things more realistic. That was used in the episode. The picture of Bart's corpse was barely recognizable. They took full advantage of not having it move and having an almost photorealistic drawing of his dead body. Yeah, like Fox would allow that to happen. My name is Cleveland Brown, and I am proud to be right back in my hometown with my new family. There's old friends and new friends and even a bear. Through good times and bad times, it's true love we share. And so I found a place where everyone will know. My happy mustache face, this is the Cleveland Show. <laughs> um, do you think I'm going to get in trouble with that because I'm technically white? For, you know, be white, yellow, whatever, and doing a black voice? I think I'm just going to leave it as it is. Let's go with the Griffins. It seems today that all you see is violence in movies and sex on TV. But where are those good old fashioned values on which we used to rely? Luckily, there's a family guy. Luckily, there's a man who possibly then do all the things to make us laugh and cry. He's our family guy. Yeah, you can tell that singing isn't really my particular strong suit. I come to make an announcement. Shadow the Hedgehog's a bitch ass motherfucker. He pissed on my fucking wife. That's right. He took his fucking hedgehog curly dick out and he pissed over my fucking wife and he said his dick was this big. And I said that's disgusting. So I make a call out post to my Twitter.com. Shadow the Hedgehog, you got a small dick. It's the size of a walnut except way smaller. And guess what? This is what my dog looks like. <laughs> That's right, baby. Tall points, no quills, no pillows. Look at that. It looks like two balls in a bar. He fucked my wife, so guess what? I'm gonna fuck the earth. That's right. This is where you're gonna get my super laser piss. Except I'm not going to piss on the earth. I'm going to go higher. I'm pissing on the moon. <laughs> How do you like that, Obama? I pissed on the moon, you idiot. You have 24 hours before the piss droplets hit the fucking earth. Now get out of my fucking sight before I piss on you too. The things you people make me say is a great thing. That blue hedgehog again out of all places. I found you, Baker. Baker? Yeah, I think you're the fake hedgehog around here. You're comparing yourself to me? Ha! Huh. You're not even good enough to be my fake. I'm gonna make you eat those words. And with that, I think I'm done with the recording for Twitter. And you guys are really interesting people. Thanks for listening to this.